Okay, so the dough has finished the bulk fermentation, and now we're ready to do uh, the pre-shape and the intermediary proof. So we're gonna remove the dough from the uh, bowl that it was fermenting in. Um, put it on a lightly floured uh, work surface or board. And what we need to do is scale it to uh, one kilo. If you need to trim your dough, I recommend that you use uh, a bench scraper to trim it so that you're not pulling or stretching your dough. Okay, so it's just slightly trimmed, again, so that uh, you have a, a piece of dough that's uh, one kilo. Um, we're gonna shape it into the boule or the uh, round. And this is, again, just a, a pre-shape. We'll do a final shape later. To a nice smooth ball of dough with the seam on the bottom side. Once you have it in that shape, you're going to let it rest on the lightly floured work surface to do the inter intermediate proof for about 40 minutes. So we'll leave it there and then we're going to cover it so that it's not um, affected by cool temperatures or any draft in your kitchen, and this will sit for about 40 minutes. Okay, so the dough has finished the intermediary um, proofing, and we're ready to do the final makeup and um, final proof in the bread basket. So gently press the dough to release um, the gases and then you're going to uh, form your boule it goes into the banneton, the floured uh, bread basket, so that it can do the final proof. Okay, so the dough has been fermenting for three hours, and it's now ready to bake. First thing we're going to do is um, spread some cornmeal on the uh, pizza peel because we are going to use the peel to transfer the dough onto the pizza stone in the oven. So put some cornmeal on the uh, peel and then also spread some carefully on your pizza, on your hot pizza stone in the oven. Very hot. Be careful, just take a, a little bit of cornmeal and spread it. This will help ensure that the bread doesn't stick to the pizza stone. Okay, so we're ready to transfer the dough to the pizza stone. I'm sorry, to the pizza peel. You can see the nice marking from that the bread basket makes and the flour. Um, we're going to do a quick uh, square cut in the top, which is four straight lines to make a nice square. Okay. 
Okay, as soon as you have the scoring on the top of the bread, you're ready to transfer it into the oven. Do this carefully and to do it quickly. It goes right on the pizza stove. You have the bread in the oven. You also want to get the ice in. Um, an easy method for getting the ice on your sheet pan in the bottom of the oven is to put it like on a big flat platter instead of a bowl because it's easier to slide in, close the door, and let it bake. About halfway through, we're going to add more ice um, just to make sure it keeps steaming. And there's the finished loaf of bread.